Guess what I've got? That's right, a box full of hair. Look, it's not creepy because it's blue and magical. I got all these strands shipped in from Blender. You got the hair in there, you see that? Then we got the nice little sticker on it, it's, it's legit. Lately, I've been wanting to include my brother Benny a little more in the videos. He's a big hairy monster, and he's shown up a couple of times, mostly in the background. He's a little shy. For a hairy monster, the camera kind of adds 10 pounds of smoothness. Now, there's a lot of tutorials online on how to do hair in Blender, but I really didn't see many that would help me actually get the hair from Blender onto an actual character in Unity. So I'm gonna show you how to get a character looking like this, to this and mostly we're going to be focusing on the hair on the top of his head i had to do a little bit of cheating for all the fur on his body we'll get into that later Eddie. so like i said before benny's model is very smooth the hair just polygonals and we don't want that we want real hair so we're gonna make a bald model and look you can already tell he's got more testosterone blender has this new at least in 3.5 they have this new hair system so we're gonna go to the corner of the window here until the plus comes up drag open a new window and then get open the asset browser now here we have a bunch of hair presets which make hair a lot easier now a few things need to be set up before we can even do the hair we want to make sure that the uvs are already mapped there's a ton of tutorials to help you do that so so first thing we'll do is select the object hit shift a and then do curve empty hair so that just makes a new curve object on our character now as you see no hair pops up not a big deal we just got to draw that ourselves so we'll go into sculpt mode and start adding hair now i've already put some down just to follow that general silhouette that we were working on but you can groom them just to get that general shape you want now we're going to select some of these hair modifiers here and the first thing i'm going to do is a duplicate hair curves and drag it on to the hair now i'm going to adjust some settings until i get something like this and you can see the hair is trying to escape his head. It's not natural. It doesn't want to be there. We're just going to do a attach hair curves to surface modifier. And already you can see a major difference there. So what I'm going to do is use a clump hair curves modifier. And that's going to pull the tips of all these hairs towards the ends of all the initial curves. Already that's looking very nice. Just to make it a little bit more natural, we'll add a frizz hair curve and there we go. So right here, this is kind of what I think the hair should look like. Now, the thing is we can't just export this right out into Unity and that's the big problem. If we converted this to a mesh, it would just be way too many polygons, not gonna be efficient for something like a game. So we're gonna have to convert these into hair cards. So what I'm gonna first do is select my hair, go into duplicate curve, and bring that number of 188 down to 15. Already we're getting some male pattern baldness, but still an improvement on the original. Then what we're gonna do is convert that to a mesh. We're gonna go into that mesh, select it all, hit X and do limited dissolve. And that's just gonna reduce our points on each of these curves. So then we're gonna go into object mode, convert that to a curve so that we can go into the data panel and go to extrude under geometry and extrude those into wide flat planes. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a texture to draw the hair strands on these polygons. Now it looks good at this angle, but uh, that's about it. I don't know if there's an easier way to do it. I'm not the smartest guy. I usually like to brute force stuff. So what I ended up doing is going into edit mode, selecting a curve with L and rotating with control T. And I went through all of the curves and made sure that they were all aligned in a shell type formation and that took forever but at the end of it we end up with something more like this so then we convert this into a mesh and do a decimate modifier just to bring the polygon count down so i'll use the planer maybe go around 20 and we hit apply and bam there we go got a nice looking set of hair i think it follows that original silhouette that we had pretty well now one thing that's nice to do before doing any of the hair is having the character rigged what we can do then is parent this hair to the head bone just so it actually uh, follows our guy when he's moving around nice so we'll select our character export them out into unity and go check on them there 
All right, first things first, we're running Unity HDRP. That's not super important. This should work in any Unity rendering pipeline. All right, so back in Unity, we could see uh, Benny looking nice and smooth, and the hair looking like paper mache. Now, like I said before, we're gonna be using a texture to draw this hair on his head. And so for that, I made my own. Now, just from applying it, we'll turn on some alpha clipping, and you can already see that we're getting kind of that textured look. Now, it's not rendering 100% the way that I would want. I mean, the transition from, um, the front side of the polygon to the back side is kind of too steep. HDRP has this hair shader with I think a little adjusting, you can get some good results, but I ultimately just decided using the same shader that I use for my grass, because I mean, hair and grass, pretty much the same thing. At this point, when you're choosing the material for your hair, it really just depends on what you think looks good and what your system can handle. Bare minimum is just being able to do a little alpha clipping, just so you can actually draw the hair strands and have light pass through it. Now, earlier I said I cheated a little bit when putting the fur on Benny's body. What I mean by that is where the hair had to actually be done with a little bit of skill and technique. The fur was just done by buying shit. You saw what I had to do with the hair. I'm not gonna cover his entire body with curves and I have to manually rotate that again. No way. Sometimes store-bought sauce is all you need. Now, I waste about two days on this project. Uh, it was a lot of wasted time. And so I ended up just buying a Unity asset called Hair Designer is 60 bucks. This asset's incredible. So what it lets you do is lets you generate a material for the character and get them all hairified. Set the fur length, make them as fuzzy as you want. Set the different type of hair pattern. It even lets you brush and groom the character, which I use mostly around his eyes to kind of clean him up, make that area less noisy and easier to read. And also to comb down his mustache. It's got a lot of options, but it wasn't exactly press and go. I had to make a lot of weird adjustments to the model to make it look any good. Hello. <laughs> mostly adjustments to the diet. Come on, let me get you. Come here, boy. Now I had to make some adjustments just so that we could prepare for that big, thick layer of fur. I left the hands and the feet a little bit bigger than the body because I knew that the hair was gonna be a little smaller and uh, less thick around there. But with all that, I think he looks pretty good. So that's the end of the tutorial. I haven't really done a whole lot of those before. Hopefully I saved you from doing a Google search of uh, how to groom. A lot of people have making that mistake lately. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Love you, bye. Mwah.